Hi everyone, it's James. Today I am going to show you how to wrap a gift like a pro. Well, very neatly. You're going to need a lot of wrapping paper, of course your box, regular scotch tape, and double-sided tape if you can, and a good pair of scissors. Once you've chosen your wrapping paper and you have enough of it, lay it out. This box contains a bag. I'm going to turn it upside down. Okay, that's the best thing to do. And then I'm going to place it on the wrapping paper. If your box gift looks something like this, make sure you have enough wrapping paper. So what I like to do is, like this is used. As you can see, it's been cut and it's not straight. Well, that's no good. I could easily cut this off and make it straight which is a good idea. So what I'm going to do is cut this off to make it straight, well, sort of straight. You see, this part has been cut and used. So I'm going to estimate. about that much. Okay. I can use this for something else. The next thing you want to do is measure the amount of wrapping paper you need. I will take this end and put it to the center. And do this with your hand on the side. you're going to form a crease. Actually, you're going to form a lot of creases after. If you're not sure that you have enough wrapping paper, take the other side and measure to see if you have enough. Okay, I have enough. Okay, I'm going to grab the other side and go over and estimate how much more wrapping paper I need. And I think I need about this much. A little more is better than a little less. All right, so don't cut like that much, okay? Make sure you have a little longer, okay? So what I'm going to do is cut here, right across. You can either hold this, or you can do it this way. I think this way is better. If you have a ruler, that would be great. But if you don't, just mark it. It's good to mark it with a pencil. Then you kind of know where you're going to cut. Or you can just draw a line like this. That's what I would do. Okay, just like that. It's sort of straight. Now I can cut. Perfect. I can use this for something else. As you can tell, I've got a lot of wrapping paper. Look at it from the other side. You see I have a lot over here and a lot over here. And on top, Ooh, I just made it. Okay, I have a little more than, yeah, I just made it. You see that? It's going to look nice, but this is too long. The ends are too long. So this is what I like to do. I am going to move this box right about here. I want this end to be maybe three quarters like this. Okay, right about there. And then I'm going to take 
the first side and fold it in uh, roughly, roughly to the center. So this is roughly to the center of the box. Where's that crease? Here's that crease. Okay, and I can either use scotch tape or I can use double-sided tape. It's up to you. I'm going to use the cleaner side, like this. It's going to wrap over, it's going to cover the scotch tape. So it doesn't matter. I am going to use just scotch tape. This is not double-sided. And I am going to do this. You can do it this way or you can do it that way. Okay, just like that. I'm going to take this side and put it on top. Remember, this is the bottom of the box. And this is going over that taped portion, like that. I could either tape it this way, or I could fold it from the top to give it a cleaner look. It's up to you. Since it looks pretty good like this, I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not going to fold this part. And I'm going to use a double-sided tape. I just need a tiny piece like this. I put it on the wrapping paper first. It's up to you if you want to put it on this side. But I like doing it this way. Okay. And carefully do this. Push it in. Give it a nice clean push from the side. That's looking better. As you can see, this is striped. So I want white on white lined up and green and green lined up. That's about right. Nice. Nice. Take a look. Looks nice and neat. And I'm going to try to form a crease on this side. And on the other side, oh, it looks looking good. I'll put more tape later, but it looks really neat. And then I want to work on this side. I'll work on the top side later, but this is what I want to do. Okay, this is how I would do it, okay? What you're going to do is push this side carefully, and you're going to form a triangle over here on each side. Push it in. You're going to form two new creases on this side and on this side. Just like this. That's looking nice. Just like this. As much as possible right? without ripping the paper. Oh, that's looking nice. looking like a rectangle. Okay, and here as well, form a crease. Nice and sharp. You're going to fold this in like this. Okay, once again, you're going to take this end and fold it in like this, showing a sharp triangle. And you're smoothening the crease out like this. Beautiful. Okay, and down here, you're forming another triangle. Look at that. And try to form a crease on this side as well. Well, that's looking nice. Now for this side, push this in like this. And Smoothen out that crease here and down here. Now 
Now I don't want this to move, so I'm going to use double-sided tape that'll conceal the tape. Just like that. That. Beautiful. Next, you're going to want to fold this in like this, but you don't want to show any tape. Again, use double sided tape. So make sure this is nice and pointy. You want a nice crease here and here. This is not moving and this is not moving. You can also fold this tip in like this if you want and then do this. What do you think? You could do it or you can do it like this. It's up to you, but uh, I like this way. I like folding it in like this and then putting double-sided tape here and closing it up like this and forming a crease here and here and making it look perfectly square. What do you think? Yeah, that's going to work. So with more double-sided tape, I folded the tip. I put double-sided tape here. Just do that. That looks nice and clean. Very nice. Then you want to work on this side. See? This is the top and this is the bottom. Nobody looks at the bottom. Okay? <laughs> and the side looks nice. Now we have to work on this side. This is too long. You need to know how much you need to cut off. So this is what I'm going to do. I would estimate how much I need, okay? See, look at this. That's too much wrapping paper. So I need to cut off about this much. I want this side to fold up to about three quarters, roughly. So the more the better. Okay, don't cut too short. You'll regret it. Okay, so let's go about up to this third line. I'm going to cut that off. Now since I already taped it, I would have to do this very carefully. You might not agree with me. I mean, you, other people do it differently. One, two, three, I'm gonna cut it here. Remember, more is better than less. I mean, in this case, having more wrapping paper is better than having less. Okay. Now this is for easy for me to see because they have stripes. So I'm just going to do this. Put it all the way around. You might think I'm crazy, but this is the way I would do it. And every time I wrap a present, everyone says, wow, did someone do this for you? No, I did it. I did it myself. You? You of all people? Yeah, me of all people. Okay. Anyone can wrap a nice present. So this is the reason why I'm making this video. Okay, now it's much shorter and it's easier to work with. You see this? This is overlapping because it's not cut 100%. So I am going to use double-sided tape here. The reason why I don't want this to move. See, it'll move. Over.
Okay, next. Fold this in like this, make a triangle, make creases on each side. Nice. Here as well. Nice and sharp crease. Very nice. Just like that. Looking very nice. Then take this side and push it in. You're going to form another triangle. You see how sharp this looks? That's what you want. And down here, form a crease down here. Beautiful. And on the other side. Crease. Beautiful. If you end up with something like this, like it's puffy over here, you can take that down with double-sided tape or just with uh, scotch tape. Okay, you want to tape this from moving. Again, put double-sided tape here and here to make it nice and neat. Let's do that. Just practice, okay? Practice and then you will wrap like a pro. Okay. Carefully, carefully. You don't want to make a mistake because you have double-sided tape here and then push it nice and flat. You see that? Nice and flat. And on the other side, Beautiful. Please. Nice. Nice. And then fold in the tip. You can, you're going to have to measure it. That's about the center. Like that. It might even actually be, oh, it's a little bit longer, okay? It's not exact. You're going to have to just look at the other side, something like that. That works. Yeah, that works. I could fold this in, fold it like this. Beautiful. Look at this nice crease here. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to use double-sided tape here. Okay. Push it. Beautiful. Look at that. And if I wanted to, I could put some more double-sided tape here to make it nice and flush, which I think I will. Yeah, I will do that. This is actually going to be a gift for someone. Nice. Nice, look at that. No visible tape. Isn't that nice? Wow, it looks really nice.
I forgot about this side. I need to put some tape here and here. Oh, nice and flush. If you don't have double-sided tape, just go ahead and use scotch tape. Just do it neatly. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is the top. This is the bottom. The side. And the other side. Very nicely wrapped in my opinion. Yep. And then you can put a ribbon or you can design it you, and then you can put a balloon, whatever you want. But this is basically how to wrap it like a pro, in my op opinion, and what other people think of my wrapping. If you think you're better than me at wrapping, then go ahead and do it your way. This video is for anyone who doesn't know how to wrap a gift. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.